on this wonderful Saturday, July 25th at 510, we are gonna be talking today about strategies to help your kids become millionaires. Now you may say, well, Odetta, I'm not even a millionaire. So how am I gonna help my child be a millionaire? Well, duh, obviously if your child is a millionaire, you are a millionaire. So who am I? It's your girl Odara, your swap queen, your coin strategist, talking all things money related. I do wanna make sure that uh, if you guys have not grabbed a copy of my book, okay? If you ain't stacking, you are dropping. My story is I love, love, love saving money. I love, love, love investing my money. But many, many years ago, even though I love saving money, um, I was not educated, right? I was not educated with money concept. I did not know where to put my money to make it grow. And even though I had saved up a hundred thousand dollars, where was that hundred thousand dollars sitting? Not in the best place. Hey, did you, I see you. <laughs> um, not in the best place. That hundred thousand dollars that I saved up, um, as a result of, you know, being smart, to some extent with the limited information that I had, saving my money in the bank. And at the time I did have a job and I was saving money in my 401k, in my 403b, in my IRAs. Like I did all of those traditional stuff that they tell us to do. So I did save the money there. But as I got to learn more about money, I realized that I was not really growing my money. Right? How many of you can relate to that? You may have the money sitting somewhere, but you know it's not growing. You're seeing the interest at the end of the year, but you know that that interest is not gonna be enough. So make sure that you guys grab a copy of my book if you ain't stacking your dropping because yes, honey, if you ain't stacking these coins, you are dropping them. And how are you gonna learn what to do? First, read a copy of this book. You can go to my website, odetaking.com 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 and yes you can get a copy there so i want to talk about three basic financial concepts again today we're talking about money and how to set up your kids to be financially set right so that they could have millions and by default that's how you start creating generational wealth. So there's three rules to money. The first rule of money is understanding something called compound interest. And Albert Einstein, my great, 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 great uncle, Albert Einstein is the person who came up with this formula because he was a genius. And Albert Einstein said, he who understand compound interest will make money. And he who does not will actually pay it. We don't want to pay it, right? We want to make it. And in my term, I said we want to stack it. We don't want to drop it. We want to stack it, right? So the three rules to money is the first one is you got to understand compound interest. And it is simple. This is a formula that you take the number 72, right? And you're going to divide it by the rate of return. What is that rate of return, right? So it's the interest. So what is the number one place that most people put their money? Yes, I hear it every day, the bank. So if you take 72 and you divide it by what's the average interest rate of the bank? 0 0.01 to five, less than a point, less than 1%. So for simple math, let's say 72 divided by one. That is 72 years. Guys, no wonder why people are broke. No wonder why people are in a financial mess because they do not know this basic financial concept. You got to put your money where it's going to double in a shorter space of time. So wherever you guys have your money right now, I don't know, you know. Take 72 and divide it by the rate of return, which is your interest. So whatever the bank is giving you, divide it by that interest. Whatever, wherever the money is, divide it by that interest. Now, it's ironic that most of us, we do not understand this, but we've actually been doing it. How? We're doing it with our credit cards. We're doing it with loans. We're doing it with our student loan, right? So if you take 72, 
and you divide it by the average credit card. What is the average credit card? 18 to 25%. Holy moly, right? So for simple math, again, let's look at a credit card that's given 12%. Most people are not getting 12%, right? I'm one of the few people that's paying 14%, right? And even 14, I'm still trying to always get them to bring it down. Why? So let's do 12%, 72 divided by 12, that is six years. So if you have a loan at 12%, which is really good, depending on the type of loan, obviously, 72 divided by 12 is six years. Guys, girls, you better pay off that loan before it doubles in six years. So it's ironic, like I said, that we did not understand this, but we've been doing it all along. Because the number one place that every one of us put our money is in the bank. And that's the same place we go to borrow money for the mortgage, to borrow money for the car, to borrow money for school, and everywhere else. We go back to that same place and they lend us our own money with a higher interest. Right? So why is this important? This is important because if you don't know this, and I want every one of you, I want to challenge you to w look at whatever interest you're paying right now, if it's a loan, or look at where you're saving or growing your money and divide it by 72 with that interest. So that's the first rule of money. So it's going to make a lot of difference when you apply this because that's the difference between having 40000 or 600,000 depending on where your money is sitting and the interest that you're earning. Now, nobody can retire on 40,000, nobody. But just making a couple of shift and putting your money somewhere that's gonna give you a higher interest literally can make the difference between your retirement strategy, whether you're gonna be poor, living paycheck to paycheck, or living la vida loca and stacking these coins stress-free. Or that's the difference between your kids graduating student loan free with extra money or going into debt with their first job and having to pay back student loan and not even seeing their money, even though they might be working for six figures. Number two is taxes. Listen. I'm going to say it till I die. I'm going to die rich. Okay. We all got to die. Two things are certain, debt and taxes, debt and taxes. If so, if we're going to die, let's die rich. And if we're going to have to pay tax, let's pay the minimum taxes, right? You got to know this stuff. So there's three places you can put your money that's going to be impacted by taxes. Tax now accounts, these are your checking, your savings, your CD, your stocks, your mutual fund. When you put your money in there, you're going to pay tax at the end of the year. Your money grows, you pay tax. Your money grows, you pay tax. It's like, God damn, you're not even getting a break, right? Your money grows, you pay tax. So that's your tax no account. Then you have tax later account. What is tax later? Exactly what it is. You're going to pay tax later. So these are typically your 401ks, your 403bs, your IRA, SEP IRA, annuity and pension. I love when people tell me, oh, data, I have a pension, okay? And they feel so proud to say they have a pension. They're so happy to say they have a 401k, but little do they know, they're gonna be paying the most taxes, right? So those are your tax later accounts. And then you have tax advantage. So tax advantage is where we love. Tax advantage is where we want everybody to be. This is where the 1% is. This is where rich people love tax-free strategies because it literally means it's tax-free and you're paying the least amount of taxes. Now, Facebook, I know you guys cannot see me, so if you wanna see this, you're gonna have to click on the link to be in the building, which is the Zoom, okay? So tax advantage now is tax-free. 
Those are your Roth IRAs, your 529 college saving, executive bonus, long-term care, and cash value life insurance. Now let's stick a pin and talk about the 529 college saving plan. Because after all, I'm teaching you guys how to set your kids up for financial success. I'm teaching you guys how to make your kids millionaires. So let's start with the 529 college saving plan, which is where a lot of people make the mistake Yes, I said it. A lot of people make the mistake and save money in a 529 for their kid's college. Big, big, big mistake. Why? Two things. Two things, right? Those of you that are on Facebook, since you're not in the room, you're going to go ahead and type the word two things. And when you type the word two, I'm going to drop it. So what are the two things that they're actually making a big mistake when it comes to 529 college saving plan? Number one, this is a vehicle that is tied to the stock market. It is tied to the stock market. So when the market go up, your money goes up. But what happens when the market go down? Oh boy, nobody wants to talk about that. But we are, we're going to educate you about these concepts. When the market go down, your kids college money is also going to go down. So every year there's millions of kids going off to college. Imagine if you had a 529 today and your child was scheduled to go off to college this year, the fall coming, and they had a hundred thousand in their 529 college saving plan. Well, guess what? The market dropped 30% and we are in a recession. So what does that mean? Your child no longer has a hundred thousand dollars. How do you feel about that? First problem. Let's talk about the second problem. What if your child is gifted? What if your child is super smart, super intelligent, right? All of those scholarship and those free money and grants, you're not gonna get it. Why? You're not gonna get it because you have a 529, which is going to count as an asset against them. So they're going to say, you know what? Let's give this money to a child who is in need because your child has money. So you're leaving money on the table. And as I like to say, we don't drop coins, we stack coins. So when you have a 529, it is actually counting as an asset and your child will not get any free money. And there's a lot of free money out there, guys. A lot of free money. You just got to know this information. So that's the second problem. No scholarship. No free money. No grants. Because in their eyes, you have a 529, which means you have money. And they're going to say, use your money and let's give the grant to somebody child who is in need. And then I'm going to show you guys a caveat. Number three, what if your child doesn't want to go to college? Because let's face it, not everybody is academically inclined. Some people might be good with other things. Some people might want to start a business. Some people may want to just go off La Vida Loca and travel the world. Not everyone is going to want to go to college. But guess what? If you have a 529 and your child decides, they want to skip college. Well, guess what? Your 529 now is going to get hit with a 10% penalty because Uncle Sam, our favorite uncle that we have never met, says this money is getting these tax break because they want you to pay your own college. And if you don't go to college, 10%, we're going to snatch it. Okay? So again, you're dropping your coins. So that's taxes. So again, I'm teaching you guys strategy to set your kids up for financial success, to be millionaires. So we're bagging the college, we're bagging the wedding, we're bagging the house, we're just stacking all of this stuff. So your child is truly set financially. Now the third option is understanding investment their fixed investment 
which are typically bank products. Here, your money is safe, but it's not growing. It is safe, but it's not growing much. So that was me. My $100,000 was safe in the bank, but it wasn't growing much because I was getting less than 2%. And I thought I was great because I was getting less than 2% where most people was getting half a point. So that's your fixed product, right? Then you have variable. So variable, if you guys Google the word, variable mean it is unpredictable, unreliable, and unstable. Why would you wanna put your kids' college money in an account that's unreliable, unstable, unpredictable? Well, I tell you why. Because we don't know better. We don't know. And as long as we don't know, it's gonna cost us, right? So those are your variable accounts where it's safe, it's actually not safe, but it's growing. It has the potential to grow, but it's not safe. So I like to say you could be a millionaire today and a pauper tomorrow. That's your variable account. You could be poor today and rich tomorrow, or you could be rich today and poor tomorrow. And we are not about this up and down life. We want to be rich and we want to stay rich and we want to die rich. Okay. We're not going to go up, down, up, down, up, down. Cause we're not about dropping coins. We are about stacking these coins. Okay. So all of you who have kids, y'all need to get in touch with me so I can design a plan to show you what you can do for your kids. And yes, I've heard someone said to me, oh, that I'm not even a millionaire. How am I gonna help my child be a millionaire? Well, duh, if you help your child be a millionaire, you are a millionaire, because you are the account holder, right? And then the third option when it comes to investment is understanding something called index strategies. With index strategies, you now have safety and you have growth. Safety, and growth. So let's talk about your child college. Let's talk about your child wedding. Let's talk about your child's first home that they're gonna purchase. How would you like to know that they could have money saved up for them that is safe and it's growing? There's only one place, one place that you can do that strategy in and it's an index account. Why are most people not aware of these? Well, number one, most people are not financially educated. Let's, let's just put that out there, right? There's only five states in the US that teaches or mandates financial education. And take it from someone who is a professor at an Ivy League university here in New York. My faculty, my students don't even know these basic money concepts. And so they're graduating. In fact, they're coming in the first year with debt and they're definitely going out with debt. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to switch my screen and again, Facebook, too bad. You guys should have been on the Zoom. I'm going to show you guys what a strategy looks like for someone who is saving their money, well, their kids' money, well, it's really still their money, right? And an index strategy. So what do you get with an index strategy? Number one, let's talk about growth. Your money is set up to grow. Your money is absolutely set up to grow, right? There is growth potential. Your money set up to grow. You also have a safety net. Guys, you are guaranteed never to lose money. I don't care if the stock market blow up. You are never losing money. You have a safety. You have a guarantee. You will never lose money. So the stock market could do whatever it want to do. Odetaking.com is sleeping sound like a baby and my coins are stacked in, right? And then there's also tax advantage. Again, most people don't even understand taxes. So they're not gonna take advantage of these benefits because they don't know of these benefits. You wanna put your money in accounts that's going to give you tax advantage, tax-free. We love the word tax-free, okay? If your money right now is not positioned in accounts that's tax-free, you're actually dropping your coins, right? And then the fold piece is something called protection. Listen, we're insuring everything. We're insuring the car. 
we're insuring the house, but are you insuring your money? Are you insuring your life? Are you insuring your health? Are you insuring your wealth? Now, someone said to me, Odetta, I don't even have wealth. Well, how would you like to learn to build wealth? So this strategy, I'm gonna show you guys a one year old, and I'm so, so, so excited. Um, I've been going back and forth with one of my clients who I worked with, well, I used to work with the wife uh, many, many years ago in my hotel corporate world, and I helped her put a strategy in place for her retirement. Long story short, she introduced me to her husband. They got their first baby boy, Oh my God, he's not even two months old. But because they know of these strategies, because I, I took time and educated them and put some things in place for them, the minute Regina, yes, Regina, shout out to you, so proud of you. The minute Regina realized she was pregnant, she's like, her husband was like, oh, that out, we gonna need one of those things for my little man. And so he was born in May and not even two months old. And he's got one of these strategies. So he is definitely a millionaire baby. And we love setting up millionaire babies. So here is an illustration of a one-year-old. The parents are saving $300 a month. So that's like $10 a day, right? That might be the husband and wife, the mom and daughter, the mom and boyfriend, or the mom and dad. They're saving $300 a month. So that's $3,600 per year. Let's fast forward to the first milestone because in life, most people will have two major expenses. The first major expenses they're gonna incur is college. If they wanna go to college, that's the first major expense. And we don't want them to graduate with debt. The second major expense they're gonna get is home ownership. Again, if they wanna own a home. Those are gonna be your two major expense. And the third major expense is gonna deal with your end of life, old age, right? Old age, because healthcare is not cheap, right? So as we get old, that's gonna be our next third largest, biggest expense. And these are all things we're gonna prepare you guys for. So now this kid, the mom and dad is savvy, like odetaking.com, they're saving $300 a month. Now the kid is 21 year old, and they're gonna pull out out of their 111,000 tax-free dollars, 40,000. Age 21, age 22, they pull out another 40,000. So immediately from jump, this child is starting life in a plus and not a negative with student loans being bogged down. I graduated from NYU with zero student loan. So obviously I'm doing something right. And now I'm sharing this information with others so they could also do it for their kids if it's too late for them. So this child is gonna graduate scotch-free with no student loan, with no debt. So he can pocket all his money if he decides to be an employee, right? Now the kids are still saving or the mom is still saving. Now let's say they're ready to buy their first house. Most people don't even want to buy their first house because they're thinking of debt. They're thinking that they don't have money. They're thinking they don't have the down payment. They don't have good credit. But this child is set up for financial success. So the credit piece is there and the money to buy the house is also there. I spoke with a client earlier today. They're in their 40s. They just bought their first house. And I said, how would you like if I show you that by the time your child turns before 40, they're gonna have more money more than you, and so they'll put down more money for their house. So at 35, look how much money this child has. Almost quarter million, tax free. Tax free, quarter million, tax free. So do you think this child is gonna have to come to a parent or go to the bank and borrow large sum of money? That's number one. Number two, this child is gonna have more money to put down on his down payment, which means this child will be having a low mortgage payment because if they could drop 150 grand on their house, what does that do to their mortgage? Super, super affordable and cheap and low. 
right? So this is how you set your kids up for a massive financial success. You make sure that the student loan is taken care of, no such thing as student debt. They're ready to buy their first house. They got 250,000, almost a quarter million sitting there waiting to purchase their house or maybe an investment property, right? When they're ready to get married, let's talk about that. I'm from Guyana. Most of us, our parents don't got squat to give us when it's time for a wedding, right? They don't have it. They don't have it. They just don't. Not a lot of us have it to give our kids when they're getting married or maybe they're firstborn, right? When you have your first grandchild, wouldn't you like to be in a position to drop 50K, 100K or whatever to do something to set them up financially? So now this person, second milestone, they're buying their first house almost quarter million just sitting there waiting for them the house piece is bagged right and they continue saving three hundred dollars a month now let's fast forward to the third milestone which is age of retirement this child at 64 years old will have a million dollars tax free and this is a million dollars sitting waiting on them that has no market risk implication, doesn't care if there's COVID, non-vid, or whatever disease pop up, whatever economy is going turbulent with the country or with the world, none of this, none of this will impact their finances. This child will have a million dollars at 64. So how is their retirement gonna be? You bet it's gonna be stacked up because this child now can take out 80,000, 100,000 every year. And this is just one strategy. So I just showed you guys how you can take your newborn and literally make his entire life, even into debt, a financial success. And let's talk about long-term care. Now the child is fully ripe old age. They're old age, they're in their 70s, their 80s, their 90s. They're not a burden to you. They're not a burden to their kids because guess what? They have over $2 million in their total benefit. That's gonna pay out upward of $40,000 per month for long-term care. And if you do not know what long-term care is, even more reason why you need to get in touch with me to take care of these things and put in place for yourself. Because today you might be great. Today you might be great. You might be healthy, everything is going good, but nobody knows what's gonna happen in the future. My brother, who is 37 year old, is a double amputee. Psychiatric help. He's gonna need a lot of stuff, a lot of help, and it is not cheap. And try with the government, good luck with all the cuts that they're constantly doing right and this is how you set up generational wealth because now let's say this child dies in their 90s yeah can you believe it it's okay because we all gotta die but like i like to say we're gonna die rich and this kid who is now in his ripe old age is gonna die and leave millions millions and that's how you set yourself up for massive financial wealth and ultimately by default build generational wealth because your great 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 grandkids will have something waiting for them even though they're not born as yet I don't have any kids but my unborn child is already stinking filthy rich so if you have kids you need to get in touch with me when I end this live, when I end this broadcast. My number, 973-842-7927. If you have kids, and now some of you might be saying, well, Odetta, I don't have a newborn. It's okay. You have kids. Even if they're an adult, right? Maybe they're ready to go off to college. It's okay because this is a journey. This is a plan for life. So if they're already in college and it's too late, that's okay. You got so much more things that you can help them with. What about when they're ready to buy their first house? 
What about they're ready to be married? What if life happens in a negative way, right? What if life happens? So get in touch with me um, to set up a free consultation to create a dream map, create a dream plan for your individual specific needs based on what you can afford, based on what, what are your financial goals and what is it that you wanna set up for your child. Like I said, the two major expenses is always gonna be college, and home purchase. If your child doesn't want to go to college, more money to do something else, right? If they don't want to buy a house, more money to do something else. It is never too much problem or it is never too much money problem. You just got to be smart and know where to put the money. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for joining. Um, normally I put up a poll, but I'm not going to put a poll today because this webinar is strategically to help you guys understand how you can make your kids future better and by default it's also your future being better so my number again 973-842-7927 973-842-7927 or go to my website odetiking.com 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 and schedule a free consultation where we can help you with your kids financial strategy to set them up now tomorrow same time 5 p.m and actually i'm gonna bring the flyer up right tomorrow p.m 5 p.m tomorrow p.m 5 p.m what am i saying tomorrow 5 p.m we're gonna be talking about tax-free strategies tax-free retirement so who is this for if you have a 401k if you have a 403B, if you have a 457, if you have an IRA, if you have a bank account, you might be saving money with the Susu lady because I'm Guyanese and I know the Susu people, right? I understand the Susu concept. If you're saving money for your retirement or worse yet, maybe you're not saving money for your retirement. I'm gonna be teaching you guys strategies to retire tax-free and stress-free. You want to be like me. Trust me. You want to be like me. And I don't have any kids. My retirement is set, okay? And as I like to say, if I die tomorrow, my aunt, and not my aunt, my nephew, Corey, and my mommy is not going to cry for long. So if you have kids, you better make sure you get in touch with me to set things up for your kids. And also tomorrow webinar, 5 p.m. right here. The same way how you guys register, you can register again for tomorrow. Go to my website, odetiking.com forward slash upcoming events. Get registered for that. This way you guys, hey, Violissa, I see you. Thanks for joining on Facebook. Violissa, I think you, I know you have a couple of kids because we spoke in the past. So definitely make sure you get in touch with me so I can show you some stuff for your little adorable girls. And I'm going to end my life now. So like I said, if you need any help, um, definitely get in touch with me, 973-842-7927, and let's set up a dream map and plan your financial future. Now is the best time. Thank you guys so much. Make it a great day. Bye, y'all.